Behind four touchdown passes from quarterback Caleb Nix and a dominating performance by the defense, Central of Phoenix City closes out a perfect regular season with a 10-0 record with a 53-7 dominating win tonight at home against the Oxford Yellow Jackets. Mickey Shadricks along with Gerhard Mathangani. Gerhard, we knew this was going to be a tough task for Oxford coming into this game against one of the top teams in Class 7A, and that's exactly how it played out tonight. It's been a really talented schedule for the Oxford Yellow Jackets. Play Thompson at the beginning of the season. They'll close it out with Central Phoenix City, and they start off with a bang. Caleb Nix to Tommy Griffin Jr., 65 yards, and just like that, an early 7-0 lead. And then a really strong ground game by Nix. And you saw Nix a little bit there throughout the course of the year using that running game to help up the passing game. They got a really nice boost also from Jamil Johnson who scored the first rushing touchdown of the game. And then another great series for the Red Devils. Sets up the screenplay here back to Johnson. And just like that, they got 21 points, Central Phoenix City does, and Johnson has two touchdowns, one rushing, and then that screen. After a field goal in the game, watch Nix keep his eyes down the field and then ends up running close to that first down, kept the drive alive a little bit later on, going back down the field, hitting Marquavius Terry on the touchdown pass to make it 31-0. That defense was suffocating all day long, and Coach Nix had high praise for that defense, especially that front seven. You mentioned the four touchdown passes. This is the fourth one. Caleb Nix playing about as well as any quarterback in the country right now to Carmelo English, one of the best players in America. They cap it off. The starters do with Jamil Johnson's third touchdown of the game. And then the two-point conversion play also good. That's when you know it's going your way. A 46 to nothing lead after 24 minutes of play. After no scoring there in the third quarter, some of the young guys got a chance to play. And I'll tell you what, Mickey, Zach Simmons had a really good third quarter and fourth quarter. A nice run here in the fourth frame, which led to the touchdown by him to make it 53-0. Oxford officially get on the scoreboard to not get shut out in the football game, but this one was all Red Devils tonight. And we talked to Central Phoenix City coach Patrick Nix about closing out the perfect regular season. I'm just very proud of the guys, very proud of – um, you know, did not have the year that we wanted last year. Had a lot of really good players coming back. Knew we did. Um, knew we had a chance to be a really good football team. Had a great offseason. Very proud of them. You know, going 10 and 0. Fourth time in school history to go 10 and 0. So very proud of the guys. Very proud of the staff, administration. Uh, just incredible, Mr. Wilkes, Mr. Vickers. Um, the the support that they give us, the support the community gives us. You know, when you have the year that we've had, it takes a lot of people to do it. So just very thankful, very blessed, you know, to be here. Riding through the adversity of last season and going into this season, what were some of the kind of key things that you wanted to focus on with this team? And then basically not put your pressure on yourself to go undefeated, but now that you are continuing to ride that wave into the postseason. Well, obviously, uh, definitely a good wave to ride. You know, it's the way we played tonight, the way we finished the season right here at the end, the way we played all year. We've been very consistent with the way we played all year. Um, so, you know, got a lot of momentum going into the, you know, the second half of the season right here, the second part. Um, you know, but it, obviously, you know, like I said, we knew we had a really good football team. Um, had some coaching changes that, that I thought was really good um, that we brought in. And so uh, just overall, it just it, it just a very – um, everything just went together, you know, from coaching staff to players and everything else, um, and that's what makes it into a special year for sure. Coach, when we spoke with you at halftime, I referenced the fact that your defensive front and that front seven on defense was just dominating the line of scrimmage. Now I want to talk to you after the game about the execution and the efficiency offensively. You've got some – you got some serious weapons on that side on that side of the football, including your son at quarterback, the receivers, all the options that he's got. Your son was on the mark tonight. The deep ball was there. The intermediate game was there. Talk about the execution of your offense in this game. Uh, you know, Caleb's been on all year. I mean, he's he's played incredible. We knew coming in the season that was the one thing that we had coming back was a quarterback. Um, and when you have a quarterback coming back that's been in an offense since he was basically born um, and, and knows exactly what's going on, um, it just gives you a huge advantage. And, and then we do, we have weapons all over the field. It's not just like we have one guy. We've got guys everywhere. We've got running backs. Offensive line is playing really, really well. Um, you know, so when you got a quarterback that can really think and do a lot of things, and then you've got a lot of weapons around him, um, you end up having really good nights. And I think, 
You know, last two weeks he's thrown for five touchdowns apiece. This week he threw for, for four, so he's 14 touchdowns in the last three games. I'd say that's pretty pretty good, pretty efficient. 100%. I'm going to stick with Caleb for one more question here, and I want you to answer something that's a little bit different. Obviously, it's obviously a, the – perks of coaching your son have to be immense and there has to be also some tough times as well you've done it so with both with both Caleb and with Bo what are some of the things that you've taken away from these two experiences as Caleb now finishes out his high school career I know it's unbelievable you know, I got out of college coaching I told the players today I got out of college coaching to have a chance to coach my two boys um, and it's been incredible you know having senior night tonight with him and um, you know it's been absolutely incredible having the opportunity to coach them and um, you know and and, and we don't turn it off. It's, it's football all the time. They love it. I love it. Um, I'm the same guy on the field. They're the same guys on the field, same guys at home. You know, we just are who we are um, and have a blast doing it, really enjoy it. And I've just been blessed that, that both of them are pretty good football players. And, um, you know, as a coach, when you have a, a quarterback that's really good, you got a chance to win every game. And, and so I've been very blessed to have both of them. And, you know, but Caleb's had an absolutely unbelievable Mr. Alabama type of year. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, he's, he is absolutely as good as anybody in the state. Um, and he's been playing it and been proving it every week on the field. So it's just great. As a dad, you know, very proud to be able to coach him. And, and you know, but as a coach, very thankful I've got him that I can call plays for. And I know it had to be special looking down the sidelines, seeing Bo there, obviously being able to come over and watch, uh, watch his younger brother play on senior night also. It was. It was great to have him here. And, you know, fortunate we played on Thursday, got out of practice and was able to run over here and watch it. And so uh, might not be able to see him again, but it was, you know, it was good for for him to be able to get over here real quick and watch his little brother play. And um, they're very close. And, and Bo, Bo's very proud of him and, and what he's, he's watching. I mean, he's, he, Caleb was taking a beating his whole life from him. So, you know, it's, it's <laughs> nice, you know, for him to be able to come back and, and watch it and, and know all the things. You know, obviously Bo knows our offense as good as anybody. And, you know, know all the little things that we're doing. And so it's, it's fun to watch him over on the sideline, you know, knowing what we're about to call and things like that and, and enjoy it. So it, for your dad, it's a lot of fun to have them both out here. Well, it doesn't get much better than perfection. What a way to close out a perfect regular season tonight, senior night for Caleb Nix, Coach Nix, and Central Phoenix City.